Hello my band of crew and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a lore video. We're going to be discussing the masks that didn't make it into Crash Team Rumble. If this is your first time coming to the channel, I release Crash Bandicoot content every weekend. We discuss lore, theories, news, we do tier lists, we do interviews, and I also have a Crash Bandicoot podcast. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, maybe consider subscribing. If this is your first time seeing these masks, don't worry. They've been under the radar for a while. I saw them on Reddit a couple days ago, and I wanted to make a video about them. But first, I wanted to do a little bit of research about them before I made an official video. So, I'm going to link the description. I'm going to link the, um, the source in the description. The artist's name is Brett Bean, and he worked on Crash Bandicoot 4 and Crash Team Rumble. Nothing is known about these masks other than this image here. And in the early concepts of Crash Team Rumble, the game went by Wumpa League, and it was orange versus blue. So the podiums match up, you got the W's for Wumpa League, you've got orange masks, you've got the blue masks, you've got Uka Uka there, and you've got Aku Aku there. The only thing that I disliked about these masks, and I saw a couple people on Reddit also mentioning it, is that the new masks have pupils. So I did a little edit and just removed the pupils of the masks, and I think it unified them, it made them all the same, and I think they look a lot better that way. Um, going off of visuals, I tried to figure out which mask represented what, and what I came up with are as follows. The furthest to the left mask looks to me to be an African mask, and I researched different African masks, and the one that I think best fit is, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, the, the Maasai, the Maasai mask. It has the same elongated earlobes, the, the nose goes right into the eyebrows, it has the pointed chin, and it has the decorative top headpiece. So I'm fairly certain that this mask is meant to represent the African culture. And again, I said it's the Maasai. If I had to give it a mask name, I would probably just call it M-A-S-A-I, Maasai. The next mask was fairly obvious to me. It's Ganesha or Ganesh. It is a Hindu god, and the elephant mask is almost exactly the same. It's an elephant, and it has an ornament in its trunk, and for... The Wumpa League one, the ornament has been replaced with a Wumpa Fruit. So this was a Hindu god mask. And if I had to give this one a crash name, I would probably call it N-E-S-H-A, Nesha. And this next one was blatantly obvious. It is an Anubis. And if you look at it, along with this Anubis mask that I've got. It's got the same kind of hat with the lines going down. The ears have the same lines, the stripes. It's just blatantly an Egyptian-themed mask. And you can see on the bottom of the, the headdress there, on the Wumpa League version, you could see two Wumpa Fruit hanging down there. So if I had to give this a Crash Bandicoot name, I would call it N-U-B-I-S, Nubis. Which brings us to the last mask of the bunch. It was hard to figure this one out. I originally thought it was a samurai type mask. And then I saw other people saying it was Polynesian themed. But then after someone mentioned kabuki masks, I think this is definitely a kabuki mask. It has the same, the same nose style, the same teeth. The only thing it's really missing are horns. It's got big eyebrows in the place of horns. And you can see it's got, like all the other masks, it's got Wumpa Fruit on the top 
on the headdress there. So this is a Kabuki mask, and if I had to give it a crash name, I would probably call it B-U-K-I, Buki. So when we get a new set of masks, they always come in fours. So we originally had the Elementals, then we had the Quantum Masks, and now I guess we would call these the Rumble Masks. As far as gameplay and story-wise goes, we have absolutely no idea what these masks would have done. If I had to place each mask in its own map, it would be very hard, because the only one that really has a home would be the Kabuki mask, because it's Japanese-themed, and Surreal Summit is a Japanese-themed level. So I think that the Kabuki mask could have been home there. And then for the other two, there's there's no Hindu-themed level, there's no African-themed level. And then for Anubis, Egyptian, there's no Egyptian levels either. The only level that is really, like, deserty or sand would be Calamity Canyon, and even then, that's not really Egyptian-themed. That's post-apocalyptic theme. That's why there's so much sand and stuff around. So these masks really don't have home bases, you could say. So I think with the whole W platforms and it being Wumpa League, I think that these masks were a very, very early part of the Wumpa League. And they, they got um, completely written out and things changed they decided to use the assets they already had for Crash Bandicoot 4 to make the levels. So rather than having unique levels with all of these characters representing different locations, they just went with Crash Bandicoot 4 stuff. Uh, I did see some people on Reddit saying maybe these are the Ancients, which I don't agree with because the Ancients, I believe, would be above masks like the masks are spirits in masks whereas i believe the ancients would just be spirits above like godlike entities so just as a recap we have the maesai ganesha or ganesh anubis and kabuki So my band of crew, that'll do it. That's all the information that I have to share with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you think I'm incorrect and these masks represent a different culture, please let me know in the comment section which one I messed up on. Uh, also, let me know which one is your favorite. And if you have any ideas as to what these masks would have done in the game, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great night.